Hello everyone, today our topic is how to send Slack messages for new pager duty incidents. So here my objective is that whenever I'm going to create a new incident in pager duty, then automatically I'm going to capture the detail of that incident and I'm going to use this incident details to send a message automatically on my Slack channel so that I can notify my team and I can resolve this incident easily. So for this, I'm going to use a connection between pager duty and Slack. So for building this connection, I'm going to use Public Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Public Connect, I have to use Trigger and Action. In Trigger application, I'm going to use PagerDuty. In Action application, I'm going to use Slack. So how I'm going to build this connection? For that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we are going to see that how we can send Slack messages for new PagerDuty incidents. So suppose we are adding a lot of incidents in PagerDuty for the issues that we are facing for our services. Now what I want is that whenever a new incident will be created in PagerDuty, then automatically a message should be sent on Slack with the incident details so that my team will get notified for the incidents and it will get resolved easily. Now I want this to happen automatically and for that I have to use Public Connect. Now with Public Connect what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a connection between PagerDuty and Slack and I'm going to build this connection without any coding and programming skills. Now after building this connection, what is going to happen is that whenever I'm going to create a new incidents in PagerDuty, then automatically a message should be sent on my Slack channel with the new incident details. So all this is going to happen automatically and how I can set up this connection. For that, I have to open a new tab and I have to search for pabli.com slash connect. And this will take us to this landing page of Pabli Connect. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Public Connect, then you just have to click on this sign up for free button and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundred of tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in and you will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I have to click here on this access now button under Pabli Connect. And this will take us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflows that we will create here. And this is the folder section. We can create new folder here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now here, I want to create a new workflow. For that, I have to click here on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Here, I have to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to send Slack messages for new pager duty incidents. Now I have to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I'm going to open this tab and in this tab, I will find all the folders that I've created in my public connect account. And here I'm going to use this particular folder of Slack. So I'm going to save my workflow in this particular folder. Now I have to click on create. And this will take us to this most important window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on and trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So we have to set up our trigger first and here my trigger application is going to be pager duty. So I'm going to select pager duty here. Now I have to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab and incident is triggered will be my trigger event. So I'm going to select this. And now I have to connect PagerDuty with Public Connect in my workflow. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Vabook URL and this Vabook URL is going to work as a bridge between PagerDuty and Public Connect. So for connecting PagerDuty with Public Connect, I have to follow all these instructions. And first I'm going to copy this Vabook URL. Now I have to take you to my PagerDuty account. And in this, I will go to integrations. And in integrations, I have this option of generic Vabook. So I'm going to open this. And here I have to create a new webhook. So I have to click here on this new webhook button. And here I have to fill all these details. So first I have to give the webhook URL. So I have to click here and I'm going to paste that webhook URL that I have copied from Public Connect. So I'm going to paste that here. Now I have to select my scope type. So I'm going to open this tab and service will be my scope type. And I'm going to give my scope. So I have to open this tab and first service will be my scope. So I'm going to select that. And now I have to first deselect all these event subscriptions. And here I have this option of incident triggered. So I'm going to select this. Now I have to click on add webhook. And here I have successfully added my webhook. So I'm going to click on OK. I will go back to public connect. 
and here in public connect we can see it is waiting for webhook response so how i'm going to get this webhook response for that i have to create a new incident in pager duty so for getting this webhook response let me take you to pager duty here i will go to incidents and i'm going to create a new incident so i have to click here on this new incident button and first i have to give the impacted service so i have to click here and first service will be my impacted service so i'm going to select this now i have to select the assignee so i have to open this tab and i'm going to select a user so test will be my assignee so i'm going to select that and now i have to give the title so the title of my incident will be web page issue and now i have to select the urgency so i'm going to open this tab and high will be my urgency and now i have to give the incident priority so i'm going to open this and p2 will be my priority so i'm going to select that and now i have to give the description so i'm going to click here and my description will be we are facing a issue in opening web page now i have to click on create incident and i have successfully created this incident for web page issue so this is the title of my issue and i have all these details so the priority is of p2 level i have the urgency of high and in this i have this description which is we are facing a issue in opening web page so this is my incident that i have created in pager duty now i have to take you to public connect and here in public connect we can see we have received this response so in the response we have this incident and here i have received all these detail of my incident so the title of my incident is web page issue i have the urgency of high i have the data type of incident and i have the data status of triggered also i have the service id and the priority level which is p2 and also i'm receiving this assignee details so this is the assignee which is named as test so i have assigned this particular incident to this particular user of test and here i have received all these detail of my incident now what i need to do is that i have received these details of my incident and a new incident is created in pager duty now automatically a message should be sent on my slack channel to notify my team that a new incident is created so for that what i have to do is i have to set up my action step so i'm going to open this tab and here my action application is going to be slack so i'm going to select slack here and now i have to give an action event so i'm going to open this tab and send channel message will be my action event so i'm going to select this and i'm going to connect slack with public connect so i'll click here on connect i will click on add new connection and i will connect with slack now for connecting slack with public connect i have to give a token type so i can either select my token type as user or bot so my token type will be user and now i have to click on save and now i'm going to scroll down and i'm going to click on allow to give access to my account and i have successfully connected slack with pabli connect now what i need to do is i need to first select my channel where i want to send my messages to my team now for this let me take you to slack and here on slack i'm going to use this particular channel of pager due to incidents so i'm going to go back to pabli connect and for selecting the channel i have to open this tab and in this tab i will find all the channels that i have in my slack account and i'm going to use this particular channel of pager duty incidents so i'm going to select this now i have to give the message that i want to send on my channel for the new pager duty incidents so i'm going to type my message here so my message will be new incident alert hey team we have just received a new incident notification from pager duty please take a moment to check the details and jump in if your expertise is needed to resolve the issue So here I'm going to give the details of my incident like incident title, agency, priority, policy ID, assigned to, and agent ID. So this is going to be the message that I want to send on my Slack channel every time I'm going to create a new incident in Pager Duty. Now here what I need is I need to map the details of my incident that I have created in Pager Duty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to map all those details and I have received all these details from my trigger response. So I'm going to use those details and I'm going to map those details here. So what I need to do is I need to use mapping and what mapping is mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous steps and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping what I have to do is I have to click here I will give a space and I'm going to open this response of page duty and first I need the incident title so here this is the incident title so I'm going to map this now what I need to map is I need to map the incident urgency so I'm going to click here I will give a space and i'm going to open this response and this is my incident urgency so i'm going to map this similarly i'm going to map the priority level so i have to click here i will give a space i'm going to open this response of pager duty and here this is my priority level which is p2 so i'm going to map this now i'm going to map the policy id and the username to whom my incident is assigned to so i'm going to open this response of pager duty 
and this is my assign it so i'm going to map this similarly i'm going to give the agent id so i have to give a space i'm going to open the response of page duty and i'm going to scroll down and this is my agent id so i'm going to map this so here we can see i have mapped all these details now what is going to happen is that every time i want to receive a new incident from page duty then automatically all those details of my incident are going to get replaced here and i'm going to receive new details in real time now i have mapped all the required details now i have to scroll down and i'm going to click on save and send test request button and here we can see i have received this response so this is a positive response and this means that i have sent this message automatically on my slack channel to notify my team now to check this i'm going to take you to my slack channel and here this is my slack channel which is named as page duty incidents and in this i have received this new message which is new incident alert hey team we have just received a new incident notification from page duty please take a moment to check the details and jump in if your expertise is needed to resolve the issue so the incident title is web page issue urgency is high priority is p2 and this is the policy id and this incident is assigned to test and this is my agent id so here we can see that i have received all these details in my message of the incident that i have created in page duty and automatically this message has been received on my slack channel so that all my team members can see this message and can react so that the issue or the incident that we have received in page duty can be resolved easily so here my connection between page duty and slack is working successfully and whenever a new incident will be created in page duty then automatically a new message will be sent on my slack channel with that incident details now to check this in real time i'm going to go back to page duty i will go back to incidents and i'm going to create a new incident here so i have to click here on this new incident button and now i have to fill all these details again so i have to give the impacted service so i'm going to open this tab and first service will be my impacted service similarly i'm going to give a assignee so i'm going to open this tab i'm going to select users and ashirai will be my assignee so i'm going to select that now i have to give the title so my title will be connection issue now i have to select the urgency so i'm going to open this tab and low will be my urgency and now i have to give the priority level so i'm going to open this tab and p4 will be my incident priority so i'm going to select that and now i'm going to give a description so my description will be we are facing issue in connection so these are going to be my incident details now i have to scroll down and i'm going to click on create incident and i have successfully created this incident of connection issue now what should happen is that automatically by using all these detail of my incident a new message should be sent on my slack channel to notify my team now to check this let me take to my slack channel and here we can see i have received this new message automatically on my slack channel so the message is new incident alert hey team we have just received a new incident notification from page duty please take a moment to check the details and jump in if your expertise is needed to resolve the issue so incident title is connection issue urgency is low priority level is p4 i have the policy id and this is assigned to ashirai and this is the agent id so here we can see that I automatically I have received this new message on my Slack channel with all the details of the incident that I have just created in Page Duty. So here my connection between Page Duty and Slack is working successfully and whenever I'm going to create a new incident in Page Duty, then automatically a new message will be sent on my Slack channel with that incident details. Now let's go back to Public Connect and here we have created this connection between Page Duty and Slack. in such a way that whenever a new page duty incident will be created then automatically a message will be sent on my slack channel with that incident details now let's summarize what we did here so first i have set up my trigger and my trigger application was page duty and my trigger event was incident is triggered then i have set up my action step and my action application was slack and my action event was send channel message so this is how i have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that i did in my workflow And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description, so you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just this application, you can automate and integrate a lot more application like this by using Pabli Connect. So if you want to reach out to us, then email us at support at the rate pabli dot com. And if you have any queries, then you can write us at forum dot pabli dot com. And if you have any issue with the pricing, then you can visit this link. And if you like this video, then please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.